Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with heavy metal, or when a horse fly, but we are filming some heavy hitters. Three of my big bang boogie hunting rifles on some frozen watermelons. I was filming some videos the other day and wasn't gonna have enough time to shoot the watermelon, so I said, well, Y'all have requested to see that we uh, film some frozen watermelons, so here's our chance. Threw these in the freezer. They're rock hard. They're like bowling balls. I didn't know what would happen, but yeah, they're rock hard. You can probably see some of that frost on there. It's like snow cone on the outside. But anyways, three of my favorite hunting rifles. That is, I'll show you here real quick, the 300... Winchester short mag, 30 caliber short action. I've taken a fallow deer with this. There's a video up on it. Dropped it where it stood. This is the 300 wind mag. I have yet to hunt with this one, but planning on filming a 300 wind mag deer hunt video uh, this coming up season, so stay tuned for that. And the final one, and the biggest one, the 338 Winchester Magnum. I have taken a deer with this one and a hog with this one if you want to see those videos. 338 Win Mag on a deer and a hog. Those videos are up on the channel. And since these are hunting rifles, these are all sighted in with good precision hunting ammo. Let me show you what I got here. My short mag, that's the one on the top, that's sighted in with some Norma Bond Strike. Then the 300 Wind Mag is sighted in with some Norma, uh, what is that, the Whitetail. And then the 338 Wind Mag is sighted in with some Norma Oryx. So, uh, the 300 Short Mag, we actually did a video with this ammo, this hunting ammo, at a thousand yards. If long range 300 Short Mag floats your boat, go check out that video. But Needless to say, these are some of my absolute favorites. They're heavy hitters. Um, workhorse rifles, hunting rifles. Um, let me go show you the rifles real quick, but they're all sighted in dead on nuts because they're ready for hunting season. I'm gonna try to hit these watermelons square in the middle, frozen watermelons, and then film them and see what happens. But let me go show you the rifles real quick, and then we'll get to uh, turning these into some bloaty blitz real quick should be pretty cool check it out before i get to turning this watermelon into some dust let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video almost dropped that acre gold there's now a new way to buy gold through a company called acre acre lets you subscribe to gold bars you pay each month and once your gold stash reaches the price of their gold bars they discreetly ship acre gold to your house Acre Gold is an easy and discreet way to invest in gold and an easy way to hedge against inflation. A big thanks to Acre Gold for sponsoring this video. Y'all go check them out and tell them I said hello. All right, so let me show you my setups here real quick. This is my Thompson Center Compass in 338 Win Mag. They only made 500 of these and one of you guys actually told me about it so right place right time and picked one of these up absolutely love this rifle and again it's sighted in with this norma 230 grain pretty cool stuff absolutely love this rifle for hunting on top i have a very nice scope this is a zero tech trace advanced scope super clear glass i've taken it hunting quite a bit next one this is a Winchester XPR in 300 WSM. And it's sighted in with this Norma Bond Strike stuff. Very consistent stuff. Like I said, we filmed this setup at 1,000 yards. On top of this one, we have an Athlon Optics. Oh, what is this one called? I forget the name of this one, but it's the 8 to 34 Zoomy. Also, one of my favorite setups heavy hitter, long range rifle. Lastly, we have my Thompson Center Compass in 300 Wind Mag. You can see there on the barrel. That's actually the exact same rifle as this one. They both have threaded barrels. 
which makes them even cooler. But that's my 300 wind mag setup. A little bit different where I've got a 20 MOA rail on that one. Or this one I just have the little bleepy bloops, whatever you want to call those. I forget the name of it. And this is sided in with some normal whitetail, 150 grainers. On top is the Nikon FX1000. I quit making those, but good scope. If you can find one now, you can get a really good scope for cheap. Those are our setups there. Like I said, these stay sighted in with that ammo. When it comes to hunting, you don't play around. And I know when I pick up these rifles, they're going to hit dead nut center as long as I do my part and squeeze that trigger good. But let's get out and set up those frozen rock solid watermelons and see what happens. I really don't know, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to start with the good old 300 wind mag. We'll see what happens. All right. Here goes. The 300 wind mag, didn't I say I was going to do that first? Better pick up the right boot lot. Well, oh, shoot, I should have uh, got this rig up high enough before I put it in there. But we already got this baby on all the zooms, which is 24. Let's see if I can hit this watermelon real quick. Should be dead nut center, like I said. It has been rocking around in my truck. Here we go. Get the dead center there. 300 wind mag. Huh? She's still sighted in. I don't see much left to watermelon, but let's go check it out down there. Gotta love the wind mag. Woo, buddy. So, walking up to it, hmm, there's a little bit of watermelon slushy left on the table. But aside from that, I think it pretty much disappeared. I don't see it anywhere, so that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see that slow motion because I'm pretty sure that 300 wind mag just turned it to dust. I'm out of breath. I just sprinted 100 yards up here to shut the cameras off. Somebody say, man, you need to work out. Yeah, probably so. But hey, if the 300 wind mag turned into dust, what's going to happen with the short mag and the 338 wind mag? Hmm. Hopefully I can hit them just as square as we hit that one, but I'm going to get ready next with the 300 Winchester short mag. All right, now we got the 300 Winchester short mag. Not as commonly used as the 300 wind mag, but hey, in my opinion, I like the short mag even a little bit better, but these are those blue tip Norma Bond strike rounds. Let me turn my volumes up here. I can hear myself talking. Last I filmed with this one, was at a thousand yards, but I checked it. My scope is down to zero. Uh, let's go ahead and give this one all the zoomies too. I like this scope even better. This is that uh, Athlon 34 zoomies. Holy mackerel. Set the parallax. Should be ready to party now. Squeeze that trigger off. Short mag, here we go. Well, hey, the watermelon's gone. Well, you know. Hey, the trigger on these XPRs, fantastic. If you want a good hunting rifle, get a Winchester XPR. I've bought two of them, and I absolutely love them. Well, let's go see what happened to that baby. Very similar story, guys. I'm sure you saw it in the slow-mo, but um, she gone. Watermelon dust everywhere. But pretty cool stuff. The 300 Win Mag and the 300 short mag both turn those frozen watermelons to dust. What do you think is going to happen with that uh, 338 wind mag? Probably my favorite. Um, don't tell the others. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. I'll set up that third frozen one and hope I can hit 
true like I did with those first two. I should be super clear. I told y'all 338 Wind Mag is my favorite. Y'all are always asking me about this kind of stuff, so it's my favorite because of the caliber, but if you're looking for a rifle, um, I like those XPRs better than the compasses. Don't get me wrong, a uh, compass is fantastic rifle, um, especially for the money, you know, budget-minded hunting rifle, but I really like uh, those XPR triggers better. Here we go. Um, 338 wind mag on a watermelon. All the zooms, 27 zoomies, get that parallax on. Let's uh, smoke us a watermelon. Make sure that I got the, yep, down to zero. Super nice scope in this zero tick, baby. Let's smoke that watermelon here. This one's gonna rock my shoulder the hardest. Well, <laughs> that looked like that did pretty good too. Let's go check it out and see what happened. 338 wind mag. Well, walking up to that one, 338 wind mag, there's not a whole lot left either. Might have hit it a hair bit higher than the others, but same. That's literally like frozen slushy like you get in a slush puppy. Pretty crazy stuff. I don't know about you guys, but that was a whole lot of awesome. Uh, I think it's safe to say that any one of those will take a deer. But yeah, at least there's not a whole lot of watermelon to clean up because it disappeared. But appreciate y'all watching. Big thanks again to Acre Gold for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my friends at the Heavy Metal channel. Check out all the links down below. Appreciate you guys big time. Comment down below what you want to see next time. We'll see y'all on the next one. Oh,